anyway, so yesterday, meeting with a client, and what I always do when I start a session with a client is we talk about celebrations. Like, what are you celebrating? What has gone really well? Um, share with me something that you were working on that you did really well, or, um, you know, you did something differently. You took some of the tools and the skills that you're learning in the coaching and you applied them and it went really well. So we will open the session with, um, what are you celebrating? What do you, uh, tell me all the good things. So this particular client was sharing, um, actually a pretty good list. Cause what I had said is take a piece of paper, write two columns and on one side, um, it was a little bit more in depth than just like, give me one or two celebrations. I said on one side of the paper, write um, what things were like before we, you started working on things before you started working with me. And then on the other side of the, the page on the other column, write where things are at now. And so they did that and they wrote their list of the, the way things were, you know, they were, they're fighting, uh, pretty frequently. They, there was tension all the time. There was question of whether they were going to stay together. Um, they were both afraid to bring something up because they're afraid of how the other one's going to respond. So it just was generally feeling just ugh, uncomfortable, awful. Like, you know, that quiet tension where it just feels like you don't even want to be in the house. So that's kind of where they were. And so then they shared all of their celebrations with me. Um, they're fighting less, there's less tension, they're getting along better. While there's still some concern about bringing issues up, they will, right? So that's still an area that they're working on. But they went on to, uh, to highlight some of the changes that they've made. And the reason I had them do this is because they can't necessarily see how big these changes are right? They, we kind of, they just kind of discount them. Um, but my eyes, like when I hear this and when I'm seeing what they're telling me, I, I see it in a whole different way, right? Because what they might see is insignificant and tiny. Actually that, <clears throat> excuse me, that's where the real change happens. What I explained to them is like, or if, and even for you guys, like changes don't come in like these humongous, like everything's different, 180 degrees. It starts, <clears throat> excuse me, with really small, minute changes that repeated over time really change the quality of your relationship, right? So it's it's the, the small things done over time repeatedly, right? You're changing the way you are, changing your habits, creating new habits, all of those things take time. Um, so they shared all of those things, uh, that things that had been different. And they, they both had the sentiment of, yes, we've accomplished all of this. Yes, and uh, yes, but. Okay, so that's kind of the, the thing that I want to um, zero in on today is the yeah, but, which I also said to them, like, if you, see that you've made all of these improvements and you've had all of these successes, but your belief is, yeah, but, then none of those changes are actually gonna have any impact, right? And this is where like our mindset is so incredibly important. They've got a, a column full of successes, but yet their thoughts are, yeah, but, Right, so the but just immediately dismisses all of the successes. And the thought is, yeah, but we, we're not where we wanna be. Or yeah, but we, you know, maybe I'm a seven out of 10, but I wanna be an eight or a nine. Um, and so what I explained to them and I want you guys to understand is if you are making changes and you are having success, but your mindset is still yeah, but I'm not where I want to be, then you're never going to get there because you're always going to be thinking it's not enough. It's not good enough. We haven't achieved enough. Um, you know, yeah, we, we, we got along for a week, but then, but then we had another fight, right? Because 
the truth is like the, the journey, the path is not going to be linear. There are going to be bumps in the road, no matter how good you are at this. The important piece is you have to be as tuned into your successes, the things that are going well. You have to be as tuned into those things as you are into the negative things. Because if you're always focused on the negative and the not enough, and we're not there yet, and yeah, but, then you're never actually going to get there. Because you're gonna be so focused on what's still not happening that you're not gonna be able to appreciate or live in how far you've come, right? So it's such, it might seem small, but it's just one, our mindset, the way we think about things is truly the most impactful thing. It will have the most significant impact in any change that you make, right? So if you are trying to make changes in your relationship, you want things to be different, then you also want to take a look at um, how are you viewing your relationship? right? Are you thinking, and I, I think I wrote this in a post yesterday, are you more, are you committed to, are you more committed to the problem? It was something like that. Are you more committed to the problem or are you committed to finding solution? Because the yeah, but is like you're still in the problem. Um, I can't remember. What was it I said on that post yesterday? It was something to that effect. Oh, 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 oh. what was it? Um, you're making a case for why it's not working, right? That was it. Are you making a case for why it's not working? And that's what I equate to the yeah, but. So what I'm suggesting that you do is you, you make a case for how it is working. So whenever you find your, your brain wants to go down to that, all that negative stuff and say, um, yeah, he did all those things. We had a good time. We, we got along better, but I wish that we were still, you know, further along, or I wish we didn't have that fight we had the other day, or I wish he would, whatever that is, right? Discounting all the positive things that, that have happened. So challenge yourself to be aware of your thoughts of your mindset? Are you more in a problem-focused mindset? Are you more in making a case for why it's not working? I wanna challenge you to be aware of when you're doing that and make a case for why it is working. And even if that means you need to take out a piece of paper, because this forces your brain to really think about it as opposed to just kind of airy-fairy thinking about it, like I have to force myself to, to write things down too because it just makes it so much more concrete. And then you also have it as a reference to look back on. Challenge yourself now to make a case for how it is working, right? And I want you to um, share it in the group, share in the comments under this live and tell me maybe one or two ways that you are making a case for how it is working. So that would just look like sharing something positive. Here's what my husband did. Here's what I did. Here's what my partner did. Here's how um, I thought about something differently. Like that's a win too. That's how it's working. And I just wanna share if you haven't seen in the group that I am launching a new eight week course all about helping you with communication. And this, the mindset piece, is going to be a huge component um, of the eight week uh, group program. So it's gonna be a group coaching program where I'm gonna be um, sending out weekly pre-recorded videos and worksheets at the beginning of the week, like on a Monday. And then midweek, we're gonna have a live coaching call. So anything that, um, any issues that came up for you, any questions you have, any coaching you want around something, you come to the live call on Wednesday and I will coach your face off. And we will do that for eight weeks straight. So we'll have the live record, the pre-recorded videos, worksheets, you'll be working on things, you come to the live calls midweek, you get your face coached off, and then we do that for eight weeks. And um, we're gonna be diving into triggers, reactions, mindset. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you everything that I teach my one-on-one -on -one clients 
in how to improve communication and relationship and stop having the same old fight with your partner. So again, the mindset piece, hugely important, and we're going to dive deep into this in the eight-week program. So I would love to have all of you, <laughs> but I'm only taking 10 for this round because this is the first round. And so it's going to be um, a, a lesser investment than what it's going to be in groups uh, in the future. So if you want in at this beta price, then I would say join now. Um, and if you have any further questions about it or you're not quite sure if it's the right fit for you, then DM me and we can hop on a call and find out. All right.